Biden has announced that fighting against COVID-19 will be one of his top priorities, as pandemic failures were among Biden's biggest criticisms of his predecessor. The president has no plan. He hasn't laid out anything. He knew all the way back in February how serious this crisis was. He said that we have to get back to work and also deal with COVID. You can't get this country going again unless you get COVID under control. The President of the United States, after they tested positive for COVID-19, this is not a matter of politics. It's a bracing reminder to all of us that we have to take this virus seriously. Joe Biden says that he has a plan, and it's over 200 pages long. However, length and eloquence of a document do not guarantee success. Biden has just started, and already there are 20 million vaccine doses missing. This mystery, if you want to call it that, has hampered the ability of the new administration to vaccinate people at full speed. It's been a week, and the Biden team is still searching for those missing doses. Meanwhile, some of the communities that have been the hardest hit by the pandemic are facing big problems as they get vaccinated. In Los Angeles, crowds of anti-vaccine protesters blocked the entrance to Dodge Stadium, preventing people from getting the jab. Vaccination operations were shut down for over an hour. Unbelievable. If you don't want the vaccine, fine, but there are millions of Angelinos that do. 16,000 of your neighbors have died, so get out of the way. Protesters are not the only issue. New York City is now in a state of emergency due to a snowstorm. As a result, vaccinations have paused there as well. Vaccination efforts in Oregon were also hindered by weather conditions. Transportation issues made it impossible for certain people to get their doses, their second doses, on time. As a result, doctors just started handing out doses to whoever was available. Now, the vaccines are quite fragile, and if there's any problem with refrigeration, it could possibly result in ruining the entire batch. Now, in Seattle, we saw doctors rushing to vaccinate people as quickly as possible after the refrigerator broke. When that happened, there was an immediate response to that. We've got to get these 1,600 doses uh, uh, into people's arms in the next 12 hours. Let's make that happen. And we made that happen by 3.15 a.m. in the morning. Polls show that roughly half of Americans are willing to get vaccinated despite the chaos. However, among the sections of the population that are already skeptical, big concerns are rising. A lack of trust and an unwillingness to get vaccinated is a big barrier toward Biden's goal of reaching a swift recovery for the nation. And at this point, it doesn't look like the planning is going very well. Biden doesn't seem to have a clear plan, but the White House team continues citing his good intentions. Nobody had a complete picture. The plans that were being made were being made with the assumption that more information would be available and be revealed once they got into the White House. The American boxing legend Mike Tyson said that everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. And at this point, it looks pretty clear that the United States was rather unprepared for the swift right hook delivered by the COVID-19 pandemic. And now, as the clock is ticking and lives are being lost, there's a lot of chaos and confusion surrounding the widely desired jab. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.